Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. Seven days to die. What's happening here? Well, basically we're running the forge, kind of extracting what's left in there, and I thought today let's do something fun. We have some time. Today is, I think, the day before the the dog horde, so I figured let's run up here and do some looting. It's relatively close. And so let's go do that. I was doing a bunch of housekeeping stuff. I recreated some tools. And so now here we go. Uh, see, for some reason, sometimes that metal, just always at the beginning, it's it's hard to target. But then it gets easier to target later on. It's just, just kind of weird. I think that thing, there's a cap. Um, we should actually place a point here, save waypoint, and we should put kind of like drop off chest um what should we do for that that should be like that drop off chest <laughs> drop off box there you go okay so now we know that's where we kind of want to go we'll just head in that direction we'll be past the camp i think maybe we'll hit that camp on the way by <clears throat> just to see what do we need to make this thing to fix this thing a repair kit which we have back at the base i think Day 25, so day 28, 7, 6, yeah, so we got lots of time. We need rocks. So if there's any rocks on the way there, I'm going to mine them. Well, actually, no, no, I'm going to I'm gonna go looting, going to go looting. The rocks are for the harvesting and stuff like that, but yeah. But I, I tell you what, I will meet you all at the, the town there, and we'll just kind of go looting, and we'll see what other kind of cool places there are there. Oh yes, here we are. Here is that town, and I forgot. Ooh, I forgot about this. That there's this little place we have to kind of run down. Whoa, whoa. Okay, don't want to break my leg here. That would be disastrous. This feels like a repeat <laughs> of another episode. Oh man. Okay. So the drop-off chest. So we're gonna go running around. I want to go. Looking for some place to loot. I'm not gonna loot these places. We're gonna loot more of. <clears throat> Let's kind of run the perimeter. See how big this place is. I don't think it's too big because it kind of ends up here. Kind of goes down that way. I'm just gonna kind of do a quick run. We're gonna see what's all around here. Yeah, exciting times. Exciting times. So my plan, I guess, for the dog horde day is to of course kind of repair the base maybe even upgrade it so we're going to use that day to run around probably collect some stone yeah most likely that's what i'm going to do because there's just a lot of stone there might be food in this place shakes oh hello doggy let's just beat him up oh yeah come on oh well Oh well, no big deal. Do that. Put that in there. Should we bother doing this for the hide? Maybe. Maybe. There's bones too, I don't know if we need those. Let's just do it. Uh, let's just toss out the flesh. We got building materials with us, maybe I should have offloaded before coming here. Uh, might be some food in here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get inside. Cash register, cupboards. Yeah, there'll be food in here. Hello, hello. Ooh, is he dead? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so here we go, here we go. So we have these cupboards here, which should have stuff in it for us. So far, just glass, glass jars. Oh, that's cool. Cabinet, round cabinets are lootable. This is cool. This, this must be one of the new, the new buildings. I'm just gonna scrap this stuff, so that way it frees up space. Yeah, come on. Ooh, we can use that for drinking because we didn't eat. Hopefully nothing sneaks up on us, because I'm not really paying attention. 
Okay, we got one stone with us. That's gonna be actually very detrimental. Okay. These cash registers might have stuff in them. What's back in here? Beverage cooler, that's cool. Beer and glass. Oh, what is that? Beer, glass, and whatever. So that's cool. You have to excuse me too, I'm kind of getting sick or maybe it's my allergies. So even though I spray my nose and spray my nose, you know, like the antihistamines. But anyways, just looting, looting, looting. Trying to do this without cutting away. So that way, yeah, so that way you can see kind of what I do. I do skip a lot of this stuff because, I don't know, I'll come back to it. It's not that big of a priority. I didn't find any food in there. That was actually disappointing. But we did find a lot of water. So we can at least top up on the water here. Drink another thing. Food, no problem. We shall find you. Let's loot these these guys here. There's tire there. Oh, headlight. I'm going to leave that headlight here. Because, yeah. Because we don't need that. Yeah, okay, so where are we now? We are in here. Let's go back to the edge. Where's the edge? This is the edge. And we'll just run around. We should be able to see inside if there's any kind of good structures. Trash piles are almost a waste of time. There's a, what's that, the chicken? Duct tape. That can we make duct tape? Yeah, we can. Do that. Do that. I hear something. I hear those burning zombies. Duct tape. We make one of these. And that frees up one inventory spot. Now I can pick up that lead again. If we find a good place with food, I'm just gonna kind of chow down. Look at that. That's a a two-story structure. Hello. There's the burning zombie. Yes. Hi. Ooh, one shot. Oh, that's corn. We don't need that. We have corn back at the base, so it's not a big deal. There's some duct tape. I wonder what that two-story building is. Might be one of the new buildings they have introduced. Could be. Okay, so here we're continuing our search. Our perimeter search. Just want to get an idea of what the other roads stem off of this town. Bang. Ooh. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Do I have brass on me? I don't. Iron arrowhead. Steel arrowheads. This is almost not worth it. So let's do that. Scrap it into brass. I guess I could pick up that arrowhead. Can I scrap this? No. Looks like I can't. I can make them into stuff. I'll just hold on. Oh. There's a zombie. Zombie. Hello. Okay, perfect. Just scrap this and the bullet casings. I don't know. The bullet casings are easy made. It's brass. There's a deer there. That's cool. That's cool. Got just more piles of nothing. This is actually a very crummy town. Looks like there's a road that carries on this way, which is nice. Anything good in here? Just some brass, which is alright. See, that will turn into casings. So we've got to road this way. We'll make sure just kind of run it that way so it shows up. And look at that. Yeah, we're just going to carry on, carry on. Oh, boy, isn't this exciting? <laughs> oh, iron shovel. Can I just scrap that into iron? Probably. Okay, looks like we're approaching a different biome here. Nice. So basically, we all have the corner of... Uh, look kind of like an ice biome, which is kind of interesting. This burnt biome here. It's gonna kind of run this way. Yeah, I already see zombies. Whew! Boy, oh boy, look at that! Hey, zombie! There's rocks here, which is excellent. Let's see if we can take care of the zombie here. Can't even see me. Come on. Ah, uh, 
terrible aim. Ah, oh, well, whatever. So yeah, nice. So we got some ice biome here. We'll definitely have to run into that to explore that sometime. Since we've potentially cooled off a bit, let's run back down this way. Oh, look at this. If there's minerals here, well, that'll be exciting. Hey, zombies. A little bit more. Yeah, looks like some dirt there. No, no minerals to harvest, but that's kind of cool. You can almost build a mine into that and go downwards. Hello, hello, chicky. Ooh, what's this building here? We're gonna have to. This looks like. Uh, is that Shaka Messiah? Okay, nice, nice, nice. What's this building here? This looks like a bank. This will have safes in it. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, oh man. Actually, we don't need to. We can kind of see it on our map. Oh man, it's going to be awesome. And what's that building? Oh, look at that. Okay. Zombies are probably spawning on the inside. Did we see that building before? Yeah, it's probably that stu the two-story building we saw before. This place would be a cool place to build from. Police station. Cool. So that's what it is. So they added the sign and might have kind of did some refinements to it. Which is really cool. Remember when this used to be the information center? See when you see that sign there? We all kind of wondered, well it still should be police station. So I guess now it's a mix of the two. Okay, so we've explored this town. Kind of cool. Nothing really special in here. So um, basically what I think I'm going to have to do is go into that drop off chest. It's up here. And kind of hide from the zombies. Yeah, so that way they don't find me. Let's open up this corpse here. Now, let's kind of take a peek into this box. You see what we have. Okay, we got some wood in here, so let's pick that up. So I tell you what, I'm going to do maybe a little bit of inventory management, leave some stuff here that isn't important, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back so let's go and take on I've emptied out my inventory a little bit so that means we can do some looting we're just gonna maybe we'll go around killing some of these these zombies first because they're the frick ass annoying oh there won't be a horde ah we can take a horde it's probably just from the area here oh yeah she's done one shot kill. Can drop that. Almost hit eight. So maybe, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Never mind, folks. Guess that's what we're doing. Going after the airdrop. We do have inventory space, so we should be able to pick up everything. Oh man, exciting. This is way better than, than going, yeah, and then, so what we'll do, I put a whole bunch of stuff in the loot chest, or in the chest there in the top of that building. Dang it, I didn't know I was going to run, well no, I needed the space, and this is back, I think going back towards, no it's not, it's going out more, okay cool, so I'm totally within this. So we'll go grab this, and we'll run back to the drop off chest I think, and then we should be able to maybe do some killing. I don't know, we'll see. Cool, so, but I'll meet you at the drop-off box. Or the box, the box, not the drop-off box. Okay, here we are. Look at that, right beside the, the new biome. Oh man, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, AK-47 schematic, we know this, so we're going to scrap that for its paper. Rocket launcher barrel, sniper rifle. Oh man. What is this used 762 ammo? We got one round of that. Man, oh man. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Oh, wow, that's shocking. We got a beaker, we got antibiotics out of this. Okay, that's exciting. So let's let's do a little bit of harvesting here. Just some random harvesting. Let's rock here. And we'll kill some zombies here. Cause I think Yeah. 
I think we're going to collect some rocks now. And then we're going to go to that drop-off chest, kind of organize ourselves. And yeah, okay, let's go back. I will meet you over at the drop-off box. And it does not count. Cool, just wanted to make sure about that. I think we got enough room for all this stuff. There we go, okay. Cool, that was pretty cool. I think we handled that really well. Okay, so let's jump back on top of this place. Let's crack a book. Hopefully, I think we completely checked this place already, but I think, I think he's dead, yeah. I heard you. Oh man, I hate being stuck in the inventory system. Okay, there we go. Come on, come on, Chicky. There we go. When I'm on the corpse, that's gonna slow stuff down. Come on, folks, get away from the trees. Let's we'll chop these trees down. They're very much annoying. Bang! Oh man, I can't get that. <laughs> oh, here's another zombie. Nice. Is there food on him? Glass. Wow. Everything imaginable. The only thing I think glass is good for is any kind of decorative item that needs glass. But anyways, I'm going to do some inventory management here. Okay, perfect. So here we are. 1400. I'm keeping an eye on the time. I think we'll think about leaving at about 1930. So we still have some time here. Maybe we'll hit this place next door to us, because I don't think we've done it properly. These are, we've always been interrupted with zombies, so... There's all these cars here, there's a lot of this rubbish. Sure, there's rubbish in it, but, I don't know, it gets your scavenging skill up. There's also these oil can things here to pick up. The oil gas barrels, we'll just break in. Doesn't matter. Ooh, okay. And there's cupboards, there's even bookcases in here. Do we have this? We do. Let's pick up that. We, of course, need the paper for the blunderbuss ammo. Uh, some of these aren't actually cupboards anymore. So it looks like just the end ones. Right on, okay. Some more trash. Ooh, so look, there's leather couches in here. We'll have to collect that stuff. So let's do that. Let's collect the leather. Oh, I missed. Like that. Like that. Like that. Some desk in here. Some pants. Do we wear these pants? Okay, I guess so. Not sure what that will do. That might counteract some negative. Oh, nice. Eat the tuna. And just can't drink that because looks like we're full. Okay, so what? So, so what's behind these doors then? We need to get through them. This is, I think, yeah, the back there. Oh, there is a garage here. This is what I wanted to get into. This area. Okay. Ooh, okay, there is a way inside. Murky water, human turd. Too bad you can't use the human turd to kind of hide yourself from the zombies, but maybe that's what the zombie stuff is for. The zombie flesh. Maybe create something that you can wear on your clothing. Is there anything up here? This is just a roof. There's a cooler. Okay, let's hop back down. Go back to our drop-off chest. I think this place is pretty much looted. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, wait. Okay. Another washroom. Ooh. Okay, this is worth it. Working stiffs. That means there'd be a new wrench in here for me. Just scrap this one up. That's fine. We'll find enough that's worth it to have the new one. That's awesome. So there's some wood in there. You might as well. That's a few less hits on the, a tree, right? Oh, look at that. 
another medical bandage, which is exciting. Just scrap this thing. We'll, we'll grab those coffee beans, but I think I'll leave them behind. Okay, cool. This has been profitable, I think. Oh, there's even a corpse back here. You do have to take... Ooh. I think I can scrap this into brass. Oh, no. Okay. What else can we... The lead we don't really need. That is way more important. <laughs> right? The brass, kind of more important because that's bullets, right? So that deals with bullets. But that corpse will be there until Alpha 15. In Alpha 15, what will happen is those corpses might turn into zombies. Now, I don't know if those ones will turn per se, but maybe all of those. Or it could be only new ones that are generated. Maybe there has to be a field on them that is is valid for them to do that. So I don't know. That's something to discover, of course. Yeah, we do want that. We do want the nails, too. So this is where we switch out coffee beans and that's it this is actually a pretty skimpy garage there's a cooler on top that might have some food uh, we'll leave that glass there I definitely want that gun part because all gun parts now I can come out this way I thought we took care of you buddy like come on bang there we go Okay, this is going to be scrapped. Oh man, this, this inventory problem. <laughs> uh, I guess if I'm looting, I should put away my building materials as well. I think that will be the case. Okay, so here we go. I've completely skimmed down. Let's actually throw this wrench onto my hotbar. That was really quick. I just basically plumped everything into the chest. And yeah, we'll go. We'll kind of go back to the chest at 1800, 1830. This way we can kind of do some looting. It will be full inventory to handle any zombie slaying here. Okay. We gotta go after the trashes. Everything that we can loot, we will loot. I kind of want to go after that police station because that will be the next kind of big spot to loot. Those gas stations are pretty good, but I kind of want to check this building out kind of last minute here. Because that way then we can take care of some zombies and let it spawn them out. Oh yeah. Just like this. Bye bye woman. Okay, we looted that. Look at this. Ooh. Definitely, definitely. This is going to be Shotgun Messiah, I think. Let's see. Yeah, Shotgun Messiah. Great. Okay, scavenging is level 30. That means I can upgrade. Oh, I can upgrade something. Can we do that? Let's do that. Let's go into here quickly. Go skills. I think we can now upgrade quality Joe right here. Bang. Definitely buy that crap. Now, scavenging 60 is the next level. There's not something else I want to get as well here. What is it? It's the one that makes you loot faster. We'll let that zombie hit on the wall. Or are you a knife guy? Ah, I can't find it. Oh well. Exciting. So there we go. So now we'll have better loot out of all this stuff. Just gonna break my way in. Perfect. Zombies. Hello. Okay, I'm just kind of scanning quickly. Cool, cool. This is an exciting building. Oh man. Looks like there's nothing in there. Not, n nothing in there. Ooh, it looks like a shirt. It's just blue. Ooh, hammer. Finally. Claw hammer schematic. Yay. We can. That technically is an upgrade. Even though the wrench is a good weapon, is a good item to use when you go looting, the hammer will be good for when you're around the place building because it does speed up everything. So let's kind of break into this stuff. Oh man, I need better tools. Eventually, eventually, these tools will be kick ass. Just 
loot, loot, loot. Man, that zombie is getting closer. To, it sounds like a burning zombie. Man. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can find. In, ah, I don't want that. We got painting too. I don't know if I want that. Didn't mean to pick that up. Unless that was in a container. We might have hit E on something by accident. This goes upstairs. Probably outside, hey? Oh yeah, that's fine. So these blocks here that you can see on the the, the concrete blocks, they are craftable. I'm just gonna let them have fun. Because if they get in anywhere, I'll just take care of them. We're not scared of no zombies, right? Whew. I thought the corner maybe. They're trying to get to me. They're right behind the wall, basically. I think they can hear me, but they're not 100% of where I am. I think that's why they're they're pounding, but they're they're not. I think if they saw me, it'd be a different story. So let's go back this way. I think that's that whole sensed thing, right? Like, I think it should come up as sensed. Yeah, it's undetected. So, they know where you are, but don't. So they kind of randomly walk around, hit. I think they're more attracted to where you are in that sense. So kind of pound off all that. Then I think we have to do this, and then this. Okay, ooh, what's this? Munitions box. That's new. Oh, exciting times. Ooh, rockets. <laughs> Man, we're gonna have a rocket launcher in no time. Uh, oh, bookcase. That's worth it. Leather glove schematic. That is already known. Scrap this stuff. Man, oh man. Zombie zombies. They don't like me. <laughs> oh, 1800. Look at that. Almost time to finish looting the place here. Nothing. Okay. This would be good for respawn days. So if we come back to this ever down the road, then this place would be good to reloot. Corpse here. There's a gun safe in here. Oh, we're definitely going to have to go after that. Definitely going to have to go after that. Let's scrap some of this down. Scrap that, I think. We can scrap that one too. We can scrap that. Scrap that. Okay. Let's get into this gun safe. I think this will be worth it. So I will be back once we're almost in. Okay. Here we are. Bang. Ooh. Okay. These things are just crapola. But everything else will kind of take a peek at everything else from there. Okay, I'm out of here. Let's go, folks. Let's get out. And basically, we're going to run to a drop-off chest. Oh, where's the door out? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Still got to explore that place more. We're going to run over to a drop-off chest over here. And then we will run back to our base before nightfall. Hopefully we will make it in time. I planned it where it takes about two hours. So that should give us enough time to get back. We might cut it close. All right. So I need to kind of sort through the loot. That's going to kind of take some time. So yeah. So I will meet you at the base. Okay. Here we are. We're back at our kind of... Horde Fortress. I'm going to change our... How was it? I want to change kind of... Do I have anything to throw into here from here? I don't think I do. I don't think I have any edible stuff. But we do need to eat some food. That's definitely a thing. And... The dr drinking. Let's deal with the, the stuff here. So this should be done burning here. So... 
So I think I mentioned I kind of made an error in my base and where it is. And so my base is here now. And I was going to move my base, but I've been kind of thinking about it this whole trip. You know, on the loot run here, and I'm thinking that I'm just going to keep this base the way it is. This is kind of like our main base. And, yeah, and I'm, I'm just going to go from there with it. We're going to kind of grab all this, actually, this clay here. There's the, the repair kit. We can use this to repair our, our blunderbuss, which is awesome. Oops. I want to equip that. Let's throw the repair kit there. Um, let's throw some of this stuff back here. So we need to do some iron bar stuff. Let's just keep that. Let's throw this stuff. Okay, I need to do some inventory management. I don't want to do it on camera. So I will see you shortly. Okay, perfect. So we did some inventory management. And as I was saying, I was doing a bunch of thinking on the game. And since we've, we've already built this stuff here and we were building downwards, I do plan on continuing to build that all the way down to granite and then from there I want to build a tunnel over to the other base here. So kind of like a little project, so we'll build the tunnel south and then this way. We'll only do Cartesian coordinates on those, we'll do direct north and south, east and west ones just because that's how I want to do those ones, This makes it easier. And yeah, so that'll be exciting to have a passageway between the two and of course now with it being night time. I'm going to take advantage of this moment and I'm going to actually go on the inside of our base here and we're going to add concrete everywhere. That's kind of like the next step, right? And where do I want to do it from? I don't think it really matters which direction. I also will probably just do it right from here. Just carry on back here. Do it all the way up like this. I don't think I can do any more. So I think I need forged steel for the next step up. And this is what we'll do. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed you know, this whole series so far. I'm having a great time. I'm just going to spend the day, the dog war day here, kind of upgrading this base. Going to harvest our farm in the back there and doing all that stuff. So that's kind of like a preview of what's going to happen. It might be a boring episode in that respect, but should be fun you nevertheless we do have something here to take care of just before i let you go here let's just take those those are useless those are only for clothes outside of your civilization um okay so skills i just want to look through our skills here so let's kind of take a quick peek let's see if there's anything i can kind of take we can do health nut it raises your minimum and maximum wellness by 10 points per rank uh, so we have 42 points. We could get four skills, basically. So, maybe we'll buy that. By health not. We could buy it again as well. We have the athletics. But let's actually... Fixer. Repair time. That's interesting. That might be useful if, if we're going to repair our base, if things require it. Scavenging, fast eddy. Oh, okay, scavenging 50. So we're still far away from that. So we need 10, 20 points for these two. But we might level other stuff up in the meantime. Hmm. How about here? Boomstick, this would be shotguns. Shotguns are increasing slowly. Treasure hunter. Yeah, this is not worth it to dump those. Or to dump the points in there, but I don't think I think that's it. I think the only other things would be like this kind of stuff. If you want to kind of do this one, then we want to do this one, then maybe we want to do this one, and even this one here. So that way we can make all the ammo. We just can't do the magnum yet. So that is awesome. Yeah, see, so gunsmithing will increase as we make gunpowder, so not a big deal. Let's see here, and anything else in here. There's the fixer, which is 10 points, and quicker crafting, but that's fine. Perfect, so I think we've we've used up a few of our points. So yeah, so there you go, folks. So thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.